Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Rochdale AFC vlog if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts as well on today's game down in the comment section down below just because Rochdale are second bottom doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game today they do still have some good players especially offensively Scott Quigley Ian Henderson Danny Lloyd that is certainly if you think a couple of years ago that is a very very good front three especially for this level obviously I know they are aging slightly at this moment in time. In terms of a score prediction for today's game, I don't think it is going to be as easy as what a lot of Bradford City fans think. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win for Bradford City. I'm going to go with Vidane Oliver and Jamie Walker to get the goals for the Bantams and Danny Lloyd will get the goal for Rochdale in my opinion. It's going to be a tough one like what I say. Fingers crossed we can make it three wins in a row. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well and I shall see you all once team news is out. Here we have it then, here's how we line up for today's match at home to Rochdale. Just one change from our last match in the starting eleven. Abouisa comes in for Tyreek Wright. The bench is certainly an interesting one. Matt Darbyshire not on the bench, but new signing Thierry Nevers is on the bench. Dion Pereira as well returning to the bench. It's great to see Walker and Cook on the bench. Very, very strong bench there. Lots of quality in that team. Fingers crossed it's the team that's going to get us another three points. New signing Thierry Nevers. Not bouncing at all, and there's no way this game gets completed. As expected, really, it's not a great turnout from Rochdale, but fair play to those who have travelled. We need three points tonight. Come on, City. That's the first shot of the entire game. 
and it ends on a goal. Brilliant play from Issa. I think it's Chapman who wins the flick on, then it's Sutton. Issa gets there ahead of the defender, puts it round him, um, and then Issa smashes it across the goal. Oh, I can't get anywhere near it. It's Bradford City who watched it and they'll have no It's the first shot of the game. It's been a really boring game up until now, but hopefully we can pick up. Come on, Paul, quality, quality. Just under hit again. Rocks over on the here on the far side. Hurting Pezel by Tomlinson. Pull across. Then holds it up. Get your hands off of him, Platty. No foul. Well done. Well done. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it, Gillian. What are you doing, man? Play the ball. Well in ball too. Come on, Abel. Let's get that little counter attack. Get a big up on the far side every time. Well done. Well done. It's a great ball. Harry Lewis punches. Two with a shot. What about Chad? Free kick here. Ten yards outside the penalty area. As well as there. Well done on the far side. Chapman, heavy layoff on the middle, Chapman's shot, it's a good one to by Alden. Get out of the space here. Shoes! Oh! oh. Well, eventually, O'Donnell plays it. We've been trying to get it out, O'Donnell gets all the way down to his left hand side. Gillian finishes his tackle now, Clayton's driving the ball with him. Ball at white number two, into the box. He's nearly oh. all the way in there, I'm definitely going in. Well, how's that for Lewis? Gillian with the ball through, looking for Oliver. Oh, oh. Right, just about that. And I've got a lot of time to play. Two coming forward here on the far side. It's about 13. First time ball in deep. Ooh, Lewis has missed that. I think that's a penalty. It's given a goal kick. I think that's a penalty to be honest. Completely clean Henderson out there. I think that's a penalty. Half time. Oh, 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 oh,
even know where to start after that one so much went wrong tonight i think the best place we can start is with the referee um well one absolute disgrace in the first half he gave us absolutely everything he was shocking i thought rochdale were being completely unjustified and i said it in the first half that it's all well and good this happening now but you don't want it happening in the second half when you one nil up and it turns the other way and he starts giving the wrong decisions the other way and that is what happened how the penalty on Abouisa does not get given how it's not a penalty I'll never know he chops inside and he's two footed cleaned out in the box There's, he's about a foot away from the ball and the referee waves play on I've no idea how he sees that as a play on they got the other end about two minutes later Halliday and the Rochdale attacker they've got their arms on each other their player then just like puts his ass basically into Halliday, they both fall over and he could not wait to give that penalty and I, I just, I don't, I don't even have words for it anymore, I've seen the clips back as well, I still stick by my opinions, I think if anyone disagrees with that, probably go to Spectators, I'm one of the most unbiased people, I say it how I see it and that referee has got it completely wrong today, but as bad as the referee was, the performance today was absolutely abysmal, how we have been outplayed by second bottom with all due respect is an absolute disgrace that win against Salford it now means absolutely nothing because they haven't shown up tonight them players every single one of them apart from maybe Aboisa should be absolutely ashamed of themselves I give them so much credit from the last two games against Harrogate and Salford and then to follow it up like a, with a performance that would have done tonight is an absolute disgrace why on earth Hughes left it so long before making substitutions what's the point in bringing Andy Cook on with six minutes to go then bringing on Dion Pereira and Thierry when we've just got into the additional time what is 
is the point. Them subs should have been done after the hour mark because the performance in the first half was just as poor. We only scored because it was a mistake from the defender. It's not like we were creating chances. And to be honest with you, over the last couple of games, I don't really think we've created many chances apart from the goals that we have scored. I don't think this formation is the one, to be honest with you. I know we've given it loads of praise over the last two games. And I don't want to be reactionary, but we're not creating chances with it. It's all well and good sending the odd diagonal ball up to Oliver, who, to be fair, in the first half, I thought Oliver played quite well, to be honest with you. But it just doesn't stick up front. There's no quality again from the midfield today. Sutton and Gilead, even Smallwood, just nothing. Granted, the pitch didn't help. The pitch was absolutely shocking today. It wasn't bouncing and we couldn't play our normal game. But defensively, all over the place. What we're doing for that second goal, I'll never know. The penalty as well. Lewis even saves another penalty. That's the third out of four penalties so far save this season and then the Rochdale players there it's not like the Swindon one where it's gone straight back to the penalty taker and then he's tapped it home he's gone to another player that means one of our players has not done their job properly and followed it in absolutely shocking the second one as well it's an easy tapping for Henderson it's a great ball in to be fair credit to Rochdale who simply outworked us and that is the bottom line of it at this moment in time we've just simply been outworked we've turned up today expecting to win expecting it to be comfortable and it simply was not the case we cannot keep relying on us to get a moment of magic from Vidal and Oliver or a goal from Andy Cooker and nothing or maybe a long shot from Abouisa we need something to be creating chances week in week out because today was absolutely shocking I'm going to leave it there though for today's video I could go on and rant for a very long time if you have enjoyed watching please make sure to leave a like on there for me if you could try and hit 100 likes as I said at the start of today's video that'd be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell and it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's shocking defeat down in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching have a great rest of your day good luck to Rochdale for the rest of the season and i'll see you all on saturday for wimbledon away yay